I've gotten myself into now. Greetings, salutations, and hello, interwebs. This is your friendly online feline neighbor, Tim and Tabby, once again bringing you some video game goodness. And some spooktacular horror. When this episode goes up, it would be that time of the year again, where we are now into the month of October. Halloween is right around the corner, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do anything for Halloween this year, because life has um, kept me very, very, very busy -er. So, uh, <laughs> So, I am doing my best to try to at least record some video game plays, uh, to at least try to start posting throughout October if I can, and I wanted to start off with keeping with the theme of the, spook the spooky season by playing a horror game I meant to play last year, but things got in the way or ch plans changed, and now we are finally here to where I get my first hand play of Madison by Bloodiest Games. Now, disclaimer, I have watched uh, Jesse, Gerard, Alex, and their other buddy, I am so sorry, I Davis, uh, from the uh, Scary Game Squad play this game. However, it's been a hot minute since that, and I don't remember shit. Something might pop into my head to make me remember, but truthfully, I do not remember what this game is about. All I remember is that the gimmick is that you're using a uh, an old camera to both flash light to show certain paths in the dark, which is already a scary uh, Dynamic is not the word I'm looking for, but already kind of going to creep me out because I know there's going to be plenty of jump scares somewhere along the line that's just going to... I flash the light. Nothing's there. I flash the light again. Nothing's there. I flash the light again. Nothing's there. So my... And the next time I flash the light with my guard down, something's going to jump scare me. I just know it. But also apparently using the photography camera... I don't know why I said it that way will also possibly reveal certain things that wasn't available to the naked eye. Now, part of me thought that this was related to another horror game I'm curious in playing eventually called Visage, but it wasn't, as far as I know. I don't know if it's by the same people or not. Anyways, um, yeah, that's really all I remember. Just the gimmick is with the camera. What the fuck is actually going on in this game? I don't remember. So, without further ado, join me, will you? As we tumble into what I can only assume is bloody, jump scare, horrific madness. And also, extra disclaimer, viewer discretion is advised, obviously, the type of game I'm playing and my language at times. Uh, should only be watched by young adults, adults, and mature audiences. Younger ju younger children and all that, as much as I appreciate you taking an interest in this uh, friendly and kooky cat, I would highly advise not watching this until you're older. Just saying. Otherwise, let's get on with this and start October right. like everything. Turn silent mode when silent mode is active, the main character would be... Really? Huh. Nah. No, we'll, we'll, we'll keep that. Walk, look, interact, take photos, shake photos. Run. Okay. Use instant cam camera? Zoom instant photos? Inventory read and all that stuff. All right, basic stuff. I. Uh, 
Uh, visual hands, photography zones, normal enemies, infinite instant photos, auto saves. No visual hits, no photography zones, harder enemies, infinite instant. Okay, so infinite instant photos still remain in auto saves as well. But otherwise, yeah. Um. I think I'll just keep it on normal for now. I don't know if I want to be that hard of a completionist. I don't even know if I'm going to complete this game. The maximum amount of items you can carry is 10. Use the safe to store the items you don't need. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Answer me that. Just answer me that! Your own family. Your own blood. What the hell were you thinking? What in the hell crossed your mind? What the fuck is happening to you? You've ruined our family. What am I gonna do now? What am I gonna do? I'm sorry, what? An arm and a leg. Sunbox. Dad? You did terrible things, son. Terrible things is what I'm assuming it's being applied. Off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, Okay, I'm gonna keep it. Okay, I guess I'm keeping it on. I need light. Wow, that's gonna take some getting used to. From your cousin Romeo, six two six, Maclamo Moore Street, Spain, Argentina. To John Maxwell and family. That's it. I I don't get to read inside. I have to find a handle. A handle, you say? Okay, that's, yeah, like I said, that's going to take some use, getting used to. Um, Alright. Boy, I can't really see shit. Uh... 
rotate what? Oh! I did not realize I could do that. Ah! I guess we found the handle. I guess we're hammering our way out of this situation. Okay, obviously a better use of the hammer. <laughs> you are not my son! You are not my son! The priest, the priest was right. What an idiot I was. Why? Why is this happening to me? Please, please. Give me my son back. I want my son back! Dad, please. Please talk to me. I don't understand what's going on. Dad, stop. You're not making any sense. Best to leave that now. Come on. Maybe I can get up through Grandpa's house. I, I gotta get out of here. Wait. Come on. Fuck am yeah, I? Thank you, Weather, for reminding me that thunder exists. Use hammer. Nope. Use tin box. Well, this definitely feels like this is going to be one of those I need slow... to find a way out before Dad notices I'm here. Slow moving games or so. So, gonna have to be patient. See? Excuse me? You weren't there before. grandfather clock just appeared where no grandfather clock had appeared before. Oh! Oh. I'll be right back. I didn't check the whole room here. Wasn't there a door here? If there was, I apparently missed it. Albert Maxwell... Hammer! Hammer! Okay, maybe not. 
I guess the hammer can't solve all problems. Okay. Uh, do not rely on the Xbox. Well, that's ominous. As much as this entire room is, apparently. Uh, one. Voices. It must be broken. Really. Wait a minute. I, I I see something. One. Oh, I can't. Okay. Uh. One, two, five, eight. That can't already be the answer for this thing, is it? No, I guess not. Ah, that would have been way too easy, I guess. Uh, but I might need to keep in, keep in memory of that. One, two, five, eight, one, two, five, eight. Uh, Grandpa was just like Dad. Albert Maxwell, 1968. Okay. Actually, one second, I have a weird, strange feeling I might need to write all this shit down. Okay, there is a 1258, and then I have a 1968, just in case that comes into play. Oh, boy. Quite the Bugs. Killer shot by police in 1987. What mention motion? I'm assuming I'm gonna be able to get into that room eventually. I'm hoping. Music. Wait, 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 wait. What? Well, that's ominous. Again. <laughs> Might say that multiple times. Okay, I I sincerely doubt it, but I gotta check. Uh, how about 1968? Yes, no? No. Okay. I, oh, okay. okay, game. I gotcha. I gotcha. Open the present. My, my birthday present? How did it get here? Happy birthday, Luca. 16. From mom, dad. We love you. And Chanel? Luca. And the fabled camera. Which, if I'm going off by that television announcement, 
I'm guessing the parents bought this camera not knowing it came from Miss Madison who apparently was into witchcraft and killed her own family. So this camera is probably cursed. Old camera. Take shot. What? Shake, shake. Shake, shake. Shake, shake. Shake, shake. Okay. All right. Uh, spooky. What if I took a camera here? Shake, shake. Shake, shake. Shake, shake. Wait a minute. There's a noose now. Shut up. Troro. Also, I just now realized it's fucking pitch black dark in here. Uh... Oh, the grandfather clock's gone. Did. What's happening? I spoke too soon. Reveal your secrets to me. Nope, that's just a normal. Um, now hold on a tick. Nope. Okay. Um, okay, I get it. I guess you want me to go up to this, to this thing here. There's light here again. There, kind of. Okay. Oh, I wonder if it wants me to put. Sheet I should find here. a nail or something to hang it with. Oh, really? Okay. Fucking ghosts. I think they know better. Okay. Now we can hang this. Uh, so I'm guess. Oh. Oh, the clock's gone again. What? And a door appeared where no door... Well, actually, he said the door was supposed to be here. Although it's locked. Okay. 
I see that the other gimmick of this game is that the environment seems to fuck with you as well, so... Uh, you know what? Just to be on the safe side, let's close this door. Thank you. <laughs> Shit it. I supposed to do this is supposed to be normal mode right I need more contacts let's picture of the clock shake 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 something new in this room I can do? I thought that was the back of a body for a second. <laughs> two codes I had worked on you. I don't want the noose. Unless, can I interact with it? No. I don't... Hey game, you need to give me some more context. What the fuck am I supposed to do now? I mean, if this door is locked, taking a picture did nothing. I don't have a key. I can't pull this down. I can't do anything with this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let's see. I'm allowed to look at my pictures, huh? Well, I can discard. Okay, I'm taking you away. You have nothing. You have nothing. You have nothing. Look, well, it showed me that the door was there, but that was about it. You have nothing. 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 Chair is right in front of me. That's about it. I took a picture of you again. Shake, shake. Shake, shake. Nope. Don't fucking tell me I'm gonna have to look at, look up what to do fucking next. I mean... Seriously! What else am I supposed to do? It's not giving me any of the prompts, I can't do anything with this, none of the other codes work. Well, at least the codes I assumed would work. Did I not notice this this entire time? Wonder how many of you guys are screaming at me to go to the drawer under the mount the mega megaphone. 
Yeah, here we go. There's a key. I swear somehow I did not notice that. Alright. So I'm assuming this I can take to this door here. There we go. Oh, and I'm now in this room. What the hell has Dad been doing here? Pardon me. Okay. Madison Hale, 43 years old serial killer. Serial killer Madison Hale was shot down to death by Officer Russell, who was just uh, testified to have found her dismembering her victims inside a well of her property. Serial killer caught and murdered. Up to four bodies might be involved. The police mutilated body parts in her basement when four dismembered body parts were found in Hale's victims. Apparently four were the victims. Madison agonized a few hours before she died. Even though she was shot in the stomach, the killer managed to survive a few hours. Witchcraft or mental illness? Ju June 17, 1987. Evidence of mental illness was found inside the 43-year-old woman Madison Hale's house, who apparently trying to complete a sinister ritual which might involve murdering and butchering people. The pollen. 43-year-old Satanist woman killed her own family during a witchcraft ceremony. Believe it or not, the 43-year-old woman taking pictures of one of her own. Madison Hale dumped her victim's bodies inside a well in her basement. Serial killer was fatally shot in the stomach. Dreadful pictures of the victim's bodies were found in Hale's basement. The woman took pictures of the... Officer Russell testifies, as informed by the police department, the up officer that ended Madison's life testifies that before dying, the serial killer begged her, begged for her instant camera. The 43-year-old woman is suspected to have taken pictures of her victims once mutilated. St. Jupiter's Cathedral, the Church of Horrors. After a long history of incidents, St. Jupiter's Cathedral is all the rage once again upon confirmation that it will hold a public wake in honor of the soul of the 40-year-old serial killer Madison Hale, who murdered a total of four people last month. The wake will be public and free, and according to the priest's saying, they will seek to illuminate Madison's soul with divine light, allowing her to peer into the gates of heaven, despite the fact she murdered a bunch of people. Dad said he was repairing Grandpa's house, but instead he's been investigating this woman? What is going on? Good question. Oh my. I bet you I can take a picture of this. And something happened. One of those pictures I should probably hold on to. I don't need that, I don't need that, I don't need that, I don't, 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 although that was a good composition. Don't. Oh. I'm not allowed to take out the ones that are important, huh? Interesting, interesting. Matchbox. Keep away from children. Duh. Oh, another key. The word J on it. Huh. Won't even stay on this time. I see nothing but a door here. It is locked. Can I not use a key? I guess not. Alright, so... What's a... Dormitory? Or is it... Random scribbles, I don't care. 
Except I kind of care about this. Uh, top. State makes sense. 11 February, February, March. Random, random scribbles. Whew, this eluded safe I've heard about. What is this? Cassette tape, number one. Oh, I can put my shit in here, huh? Um. Oh. Um. Maybe it's not what I thought. Oh, maybe I. Oh! Aha! Hmm. Sure. My notebook? So Dad's the one who took it away from me. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and put that in there. Extra pockets. I don't know why that was important, but... And I guess put that in there too, because I have no fucking clue what that's going to be used for. But I guess that's just my safe for now on. Make sure there's nothing hiding in the corners waiting to spook me. Okay, examine. Luca. No book. I don't remember drawing any of these. Am I going insane? Sister's leg, mom's arm. Dad's head. Okay, I think I have an idea what those body parts in the sun box belong to. Um, yeah, either you're going insane, your dad's going insane, or something that's just... Oh! That door's open now. But I also just realized... Oh... Okay. Ten seconds. For those who'd prefer to just read these without listening to me earlier, even though I read them all out loud already. Okay, trouble checking something. Okay, I've got a couple minutes left before I need to call this and heavily edit out the earlier parts later. Grandpa's house. I haven't been here since he died. Bit more opened up in here, eh? It has no signal. Interesting. Fuck! This storm must have taken up the power. I think Grandpa had a generator in the basement. Another cuckoo clock. I don't think.
think I'm supposed. I I'm hoping I don't. I'm not supposed to go all the way in there. It's like I sh against my better judgment, follow the red light. Grandma and Grandpa's room. Locked. Ugh, that smells awful. The pipes must be clogged. is real man it's real Who the fuck is blue knees though okay apparently I need something to open that chains maybe I can break them with something you must never break the chain duh, 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 duh. combination something and then something right and then eight left Huh. Doesn't seem like it's for the one I can't open yet. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's keep it going. Keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it going, keep it going. If it doesn't shake, it means there's nothing important to keep in mind. Is this the generator? I just turn it all on. Okay, light, I guess. No, 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 I'm not, no, 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 no. Saying red, you know, it makes sense, Mars Jupiter. I guess it's a puzzle piece or something. Oh, do not use. Why in the world would somebody? Weird medications around here. Okay, so I'm assuming the power is back on. Nope. Ah, uh, cassette player. Okay, so then I think I know what I'm. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can hopefully do this. Hopefully it won't take too long to listen to. I'd like to take this back, please. And I think for now... I should keep this. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, game says I need to keep it. I guess we're keeping it. 
All right, so what is on the tape? Tape, 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 tape. Where's the tape? I took the tape, right? The fuck? What the fuck? I thought I took the tape. Game, don't screw with me. No, not store. From the moment of first contact, it is already too late. When a demon what? attaches itself to a human, Demons? it becomes a parasite of sorts. It feeds from the host until it devours every last part of their soul. In most instances, the demon's relentless objective is to get back to the world of the living. If you what want to break that about? link, well, I'm afraid it's no simple matter. I could speak at length about various rituals and procedures, but by far the best way is to obey. Help the demon attain that which it seeks. Only then will the demon leave of its own accord. Usually they enter the earthly plane through certain objects that they use as conduits between worlds like a camera even if you rid yourself of that object later the demon has made the contact it needs and already walks among us in the first stages of possession the host human tends to withdraw from friends and family becoming aggressive so dad thinks... even violent this is the result possessed? of the spiritual battle between the host and the entity, both vying for control over the mortal body. The symptoms that indicate that the possession is progressing are dizziness, nausea, and headaches. The latter of which can be so intense as to render the host unconscious for days. The dark entity manipulates its host with visual hallucinations and voices in the mind. Destroying the sanity of the host is for the purpose of making them I can't malleable, contacted compliant. This, this is how the demon fully exerts its insidious control. Oh, and before I forget, several cases of possession saw strange behavioral patterns in nearby insects cockroaches in particular my advice steer clear of the insects there's just no way i can't be possessed there must be a mistake those pictures that leg that arm i didn't do it dad thinks it was me but i i <laughs> oh god my head a door. A red door. Uh, what's happening to me? Is this what that man was talking about? It can't be happening to me. C could it be the basement door? Well, better be not a, better not be the door to the, uh, the further. Otherwise, um, yeah, you're really fucked then. <laughs>